my overall goal is to walk. I'll do whatever I need, I need to do in order to walk. Hello, my name is Nareen Bagdasarian, and I'm 28 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and my condition is T9, T10, spinal cord injury complete. My condition took place in 2006. I was driving to work early in the morning and I had an accident. I received the spinal cord injury. I knew about stem cells. I knew that it would help. For seven years, my nerves and everything kind of died on me and now I'm trying to reboost it and bring it back up. It's going to take a while, but I'm working hard on myself and I know I have to in order to make my dream come true. The device is, a, is implanted in me. It's supposed to help my brain control my muscles for me, in order for me to follow command. After the stem cell cross, we decided to move forward for that epidural stimulation uh, equipment placement on her spinal cord. And uh, amazingly, you know, one week after the operation, you know, when we do the uh, training session, she starts to regain the voluntary control of her uh, lower motor function. And for Narian, it's the first case in this Western uh, uh, hemisphere, of course. You know, it's a fifth case in this world that has been done through that procedure. Stem cell help to regenerate the, the nerve root, but, but in terms of function, how are we going to wind up to get the connection between the brain down to, to, to the lower motor, motor function? But with the electrical stimulation, I think it's going to help to regain function quicker. It's going to be the best option for the spinal cord injury at the moment. BBH and the experiencer, I can't be more thankful and blessed. There's a reason that I'm here. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I know God is holding my hand throughout all this journey. And the staff, I can't be more grateful to. People who are skeptical to stem cells or anything, I would say that they need to give it a try. I, I believe that both the stem cell and the device are gonna help me. People are being skeptical or that's just up to them. But for me, I would say give it all. You have nothing to lose.